This episode is brought to you by the good folks over at Gatorade and their latest product, Fast Switch. This bottle is empty because I actually consume the product. Um, slightly zooted. I have a coffee allergy, so I substitute, and part of my nails, I substitute with um, Fast Switch. So get your Fast Switch. But uh, we're discussing a few different things. I'm a big content junkie, and right now I'm watching uh, Complex's Sneaker Podcast. And Michael Rubin was talking about his reselling history. And I was talking to this motherfucker in front of my face right now mm -hmm. about just like life and shit like that, right? And we was just reflecting on like coming from uh, creative households, entrepreneurial households. And I asked my guy right here if I had ever told him the story of my five below flip. Back in the day, and he said no, by the way. But back in the day, I had this, I had this basketball situation for eighth grade where I went to this private school and the whole dynamic of the situation was reminiscent to Will Smith's character on Fresh Prince um, when he first went to school with Carlton and had to coexist amongst, amongst a bunch of people that didn't really do the things he did, how he did, so on and so forth. But anyways, back to the topic, I was well aware of my cultural influence even back then and the way these kids looked at me and the way they, you know, they, they took to my style and different nuances of the uniform that they could make their own and I made my own and shit like that. But they migrated to mine more so than anything else. And I took note of that. So I'm in Five Below one day. And if you know anything about Five Below, inventory will fluctuate. So I walk in one day just with my mom, calm, humble. And the whole back wall, just imagine this whole shit is fitted. Fitted hats, new era fitted hats, mm -hmm. like top of the line fitted hats. Yeah. Think lids. And it's all different types of fitteds. It's traditional Yankee fitteds, it's suede Yankee fitteds with the leather underbrim and the Timberland lace piping coming down, boom, 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 boom. Leather and wide type shit. And maybe like 10 different hats, all assortments of sizes. I wrote down all their inventory. These hats is five dollars a pop. At the time, sales tax in Maryland, Baltimore, five cents on a dollar. So I'm paying five twenty-five a hat. I'm selling these hats for thirty dollars, but that's fast tracking. Let's get back to the topic. I take inventory. I take note of all these hats. Take pictures on my phone or my PSP or whatever the fuck I was taking photos with yeah. at the time. Write everything down in a notepad. Sizes, the skew. So it's like mm -hmm. the type the hat. That's O D. <laughs> I had a notebook and I go to school the next day. Mind you, this was like a Monday. So Tuesday I pull up, I got this inventory list of hats and I showed all my friends. And I think I had bought a hat that day when I went to five mm -hmm. below. So I came back to school with a fit. I'm like, yo bro, this, this the way, this is what I'm on type shit. Y'all need to wear hats. And I'm around kids that skate. I'm around kids that like, if your parent ain't never going to let you do nothing black, they'll let you wear a hat, a fitted. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like you could wear a cap. Traditionally, it comes from culture anyway because mm -hmm. of baseball and things like that. They favored the sport at the time. Anyways, back to the topic. I'm going to school with all of these kids. It's eighth grade year. They got bar mitzvah money. You know what I mean? They got high level allowances, shit like that. I take everybody's order. I cleared five below out. Do you hear me? Cleared them out. Took all their cash. That they gave me, come so Tuesday I take inventory mm -hmm. from them. No, Monday I take inventory from Five Below. Tuesday I sell off the inventory pre-order style. Like I'm just maneuvering, but in, this is the terminology. Mm -hmm. By Wednesday, I'm back in school with everybody's hat. Because I just went and bought them all. I'm sorry, on Wednesday I'm collecting money. Wednesday I'm going to buy all the hats. Thursday I'm back at school with everybody's hat. I'm handing them out. Boom, boom, boom. Everybody got their fitted. My pocket is fat as a motherfucker. I'm talking about a band plus. I'm selling fitness, bro. $30 a pop. My school ain't but so big. It's private school. Eighth grade. I graduate in class. It might have been 50 kids. But some people bought more than one hat, so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. I got this wide in my pocket. All cash. This is not no cash app, no Apple mm -hmm. Pay, no none of that. Predate all that. And I came home, and I remember... I didn't even go to my own house. I went to my boy house, my boy Shelton. His dad, or his stepdad, well, his dad actually played for the Pittsburgh Steelers, um, Delton Hall. 
And his stepdad was the lead sports medicine doctor for University of Maryland. So I was around some established like right. families and shit like that. I'm over their house and I pull up and his mom was a stay at home mom, Miss Shelly. That's how he got his name, Shelton. Shelly and Delton. Um, was looking at me like, what the fuck he got all this money in his pocket for? Like, what that Shelton, where you get that word? And mind you, you know what Shelton had on his head? Cap. <laughs> no cap, I'm telling you. And my mom picked me up from her house and explained to her what I did. And then she saw me and saw the wad hanging on my bro. I look like baby, like I'm like oh my baby four pf popping out the pockets, like this shit crazy. And I just I wanted to be able to ask my mom what it felt like to see your kid pull off an endeavor like that. And then me being the parent that I am now, looking at my son, if he were to ever pull a move like that, what would I do to manifest that? Right. Like I would never let it just fall on death ears. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like even though I bought five below out of their inventory, and need well, not needless to say, they never read up. You know what I mean? Like yeah. it's a situation where they just buying things that make sense for the store. I never seen another five below with a hat display like that. I think time went on, and then eventually I seen them take on the life of like snapbacks and stuff like that. And this is like fan of a fan, Chris Brown, Tyga, uh, Tisa era, Taz Arnold. You don't know about that. Yeah. I'm um, but that's like elite. Like, what Tisa was the snapbacks is what uh, Don C was in the era of just Don's. But the snapback era, the most premium snapback was Tisa. Tisa came with, it was like starter snapbacks. They had the tag still on it. It was the wave. Like, you was paying a couple of dollars for this motherfucker. And obviously, just done. Minimum 500 off the rip. And if that motherfucker leather, 700 plus type shit. Then when Hove and Ye went in them 24 7, it's like hard to beat. But, um, yeah, I don't know how, uh, was there an intention or we just popping shit? Fuck it. I look like this because there's a project. <laughs> It's a project on the way, bro. I'm recording. It's life. You know what I mean? I'm in the mindset of training camp. I, I, if you know anything about me, I got a background in like uh, managing athletes and like creative directing for different athletes and stuff like that. So I spent a lot of time preparing in the summers, uh, whether it be a football season on the way, whether it be a basketball season on the way, whether I'm with G and we isolate them for, as you know, uh, you've been in training camp before. You've been yeah. in them houses before. You isolate for anywhere from 8 to 12 weeks, sometimes 15 weeks, just to get your body in shape. And a lot of times, there's no barber coming through. Even if sometimes a barber would come through, some of the guys would, nah, I ain't even on that right now, take time. Because you just, you tunnel vision in. My nails ain't done, you know, typically it's Milo and it's Blake on this hand. But I'm just locked in for something that I know is, is, is destined for me and I'm just working every single day to make sure that shit come to life. I got kids depending on me and sometimes you just gotta get low. And to be honest, on some vain shit, if I look as beautiful as I look, this fucked up, it's only up from here. If I can attract, you know what I mean, the right crowd, whether it be, you know what I mean, investors, women, whatever the case is, with this beard and my hair wilding like this, and then get a haircut, it's only gonna make the number rise, you dig? So, just doing what I'm supposed to do, revolutionizing my body, revitalizing my mind, and just trying to be the best Chris Blake for Blake Aaliyah and Milo Blake, you know? Well, Milo Blake first because he's the oldest, but yeah. 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 But uh, a lot in store for the fan base. We got a shit ton of content coming. For those who don't know, me and Frames is locked in in close proximity now. So it's on <laughs> Blitz! <laughs> no real shit. Pun your head top like a Super motherfucker. Close. Don't play. Um, we're going to be coming with a lot of different segments to just feed the fan base. Um... Feel free to jump in that comment section at, and request different things. And if it makes sense, we'll deliver. So, yeah, just a quick check-in. Uh, I will likely get some type of tapering this week just so I'm a little less harsh on the eyes. But we locked in. Uh, trying to close this year with a bang. And like I said, I made promises to myself um, on, behalf of my, on behalf of my kids, on behalf of my family, on behalf of my friends, on behalf of my fan base, on behalf of y'all. So, um, yeah, definitely grateful to be where I am. Definitely grateful to have y'all. And it's just time to take it to another level. And thank God for Fast Twitch. I was capped. This shit ain't no official sponsorship or no shit like that. But I actively do drink this. I've done business with Gatorade in the past. I've done business with Fast Twitch in the past. And great product. So, Fast Twitch, chime the fuck in. God is love. Chris Blake, talk soon. Mixtape on the way. I don't know.